I think we're going to have a vaccine by the end of the year. We're doing very well with the vaccine. And I will tell you something. I just literally left a meeting. We're mobilizing our military and other forces, but we're mobilizing our military on the basis that we do have a vaccine. You know, it's a massive job to give this vaccine. Our military is now being mobilized. So at the end of the year, we're going to be able to give it to a lot of people very, very rapidly. And just you're just meeting. doing something with syringes as well so that you can have pl uh, it plentiful. That's right. You have enough vaccine. We will have uh, the tremendous force because assuming we get it, then you have to distribute it. Right. And unless you're mobilized and ready, you're not going to be able to do it for a long time. So we're starting now. We're of the assumption that by the end of the year, we're going to have a vaccine. And then we have to be able to give it, to use it on most of our population. Yeah. Now we'll focus on elderly. We're going to focus on nursing home and, and, you know, senior citizen centers. Because that's really, if you look at it, that is so, that is a very vulnerable group. It's a terrible thing. But uh, so we're going to be focused on that. We're going to go Can with the Can you divide vaccine. the country saying, OK, if you're below 50, you're healthy and strong, you're OK, go back to work. Elderly, divide them. Well, we're doing that. And I'm actually saying, like with the schools, open the schools. But if a teacher is 65 or older, especially if they have diabetes, if they have a bad heart, if they have a problem, we say relax for a longer period of time. But if you look, there's been very little damage done to people that are healthy and young and, frankly, medium-aged people. But the elderly have been decimated, absolutely.